Today, I am a man on a mission. My desk will be moving, someone else is taking my office, and I am going to need to move. The problem is, I don't know where I'm moving to, but I will still need to be able to upload my blog videos and my tech tips videos. So, in front of me, I have three different networking methods. I have a power line networking kit, I have a Cat5e cable, 100 feet of it, and I have a wireless network card. So we're gonna experiment with all three of these different methods. We're gonna find out which is the best. So the most obvious way to create a network is to use a network cable. So we're going to be plugging this network cable into the back of the router and we are going to set out on an epic quest with 100 feet of network cable and see if we can reach the location that I've just found out is where my new desk is going to be located. Now I've got a UPS here, I'm just going to put this on top of the wire so that when we're running all the way over there it won't accidentally plug, pull my router off the table. So here we go. So there's our network cable running away from the Tech Tips room all the way over here. So we're going to do a couple different benchmarks to demonstrate the, uh, the speed of a wired Ethernet connection. So first of all, we've got a 100 meg file that is on our Tech Tips PC and we're going to transfer it real time from the network. So if the cameraman can have a quick zoom in here, we are dragging it to the desktop. Boom. Copied just like that. About half a second, we've got our 100 meg file over the network. Incredibly fast network transfer speeds. So the next thing that I'm going to show, I mean, it's hard to show this real time, but I'm going to ping the Tech Tips PC. With a wired network connection, you can almost always expect pings that are less than a millisecond. It's great for gaming, and it's great for overall responsiveness when you're browsing the network. So the next thing we're going to do is the second most obvious home networking solution. We're going to do wireless. So as part of my testing today, Today, I'm going to be looking at the speed of all these different networking methods. Now, this D-Link DGL4500 router is going to allow us to take full advantage of all three. It is a gigabit wireless end router. So we can take advantage of power line, which is 200 megabit per second over a wire. We can take advantage of wireless N, which is in theory 300 megabit per second over the wireless. And we can also take full advantage of RJ45 Cat5e cable at one gigabit per second. So I want to show you the installation involved in all three of these networking methods. So the first thing we're going to be doing is installing a wireless card in our test PC here. So advantage number one of wireless is there's no mess. Now we're transferring a file, it's going really slow. It took about two and a half minutes to transfer the same file that we did in less than a second on a pure wired connection. So uh, if I can get the cameraman, are you having a look at that? So it's going very, 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 very slow compared to wired. Now in terms of reliability, now wireless is not the best for that. We're gonna just ping our Tech Tips computer again here. You can see we did one before we picked up this shot and we got anywhere from about four milliseconds to less than a millisecond to one millisecond. It's not the most consistent experience. So it means that for something like gaming or anything where you're browsing over the network, you are gonna feel a little bit more lag with a wireless connection than with a wired. Now, in its defense, there could be a fair amount of interference in this office and we're going through about half a dozen walls to get back to the Tech Tips room. But what we've discovered is that while it's, it's easy and not messy and very flexible, we can move around anywhere, wireless is not the fastest and it's not really the most reliable connection. So last but not least, we've got power line and we're doing this in kind of a, a rarely used corner of the tech tips room, but here's all there is to power line. We'll do this end first. We plug in the power line adapter. We plug in an ethernet cable and then I'm, the cameraman didn't know we were gonna do this, but I'm gonna get him to kind of look up and then we're gonna plug the other end of the ethernet cable up, 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 over here. Follow me. We're gonna plug that into the back of our router that we've been using for all of our testing. Now, the way Powerline works is it basically treats the wall wiring like an ethernet cable. So this segment of cable goes to the adapter, the adapter goes to the wall wiring, and then we're gonna meet it on the other side. Okay, so here we are setting up our power line networking configuration. So something I didn't mention before, 
that is that with Powerline, you must plug the adapter directly into the wall. You can't plug it into uh, a socket strip or anything like that. So we're going to plug it into the wall. And what you could see if the cameraman was able to get that angle, I'm not sure if he is able to, is that we don't have any other Ethernet cables. We just run an Ethernet cable straight from the back of the Powerline adapter into the back of the PC. So then I come around to the other side here, and we can do the same speed test that we were able to do with the other network configurations. So first of all, let's navigate. Let's see, are we, are we live yet here? Do, 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 do. Let's give it a minute. And it says we do have an internet connection, so let's just double check that. Yes, we do. So it took, in real time, you can see how long it takes it to detect the other power line adapter at the other side. So we're going to copy our mystery of the Nile file. And you can see that we're getting about 5 megs per second, 6 megs per second. So we're about 10x faster than the wireless connection in terms of real world speeds. Although we're still not nearly as fast as the straight wired connection. So it takes us eh, about 20 seconds, 25 seconds to transfer that file. Now the other thing that I personally really like about Powerline is that you get a very consistent connection. So we're looking at 3 milliseconds across the board. So it's a little bit faster than wireless, although not quite as fast as straight wired so it's a little bit better for gaming and you don't have to have unsightly wires anywhere. Okay, so in conclusion, we had a look at three different wiring standards today. Now, the good news is I don't have to move my desk after all, so that's terrific. But we did learn a lot, so let's break it down in terms of price, performance, and convenience. So, good old Cat 5e. It's cheap, cheap, cheap and it performs great. It's the most reliable, fastest connection you can have. However, it's not very convenient. You have to run cables all over the place or you're paying a contractor to run wires through the walls. Not an ideal solution for a lot of people, so that's why they turn to wireless. Now, wireless is pretty expensive and it's not fast at all. You do have that convenience though. You can move your computer around without even worrying about anything. You can run multiple clients off your wireless router, network them all. It's like super easy. It's a very mature technology at this point. It's just not not fast enough. Now, Powerline, I felt was the best compromise overall. We used the TrendNet TPL 302E, so that's a 200 megabit per second AV kit. It means you can actually stream HD. Now, something to be aware of is that we were only able to connect to these at 100 megabit per second. What that means is if you buy more power line adapters, you can plug one in on the router side and then you can plug multiple power line adapters in around your house. So while you aren't going to be able to sit on the couch and watch a show like you could with wireless, you will be able to plug in multiple desktop computers. So overall, I felt it was the best compromise and thank you for checking out NCIX Tech Tips on our three different networking standards today.